want you to know I think that this is asinine to talk about bringing 100 detainees to this country and spending $500 million to do it when we're in a time of these incredible deficits, 10 percent unemployment. It's just reckless spending that we can't afford. General McChrystal, as I understand, asked for a little more than 30,000 troops, of our troops. And he got 30, and that's good. But is he capped at that? If he needs an additional 5,000 or 10,000 troops in Afghanistan in the next 16, 17 months, is he going to have the flexibility to get those? In the newspaper, the, the kind of war costs you see are just the upfront costs. So in other words, those are the costs of basically sending troops um, over there, uh, paying for reservists and guards, uh, equipment repairs in the um, current scenario, uh, paying for contractors who are operating right now. So it's all of the upfront costs of waging a war. But um, those are only a kind of the tip of the iceberg of the full cost of the war because you also have to take into account all of the long-term costs. If you continue on this current pace, what you're talking about is a war that will cost uh, by the end of this decade close to a trillion dollars when you count all of the costs. When we're in a time of uh, these incredible deficits, uh, 10 percent unemployment. It's just reckless spending that, that we can't afford.